I'm back from Europe. I had the time of my life over there, and I'm going to be making a video about those experiences really soon. But first, let's talk about the Steam Controller redesign. So even though I was only gone for two measly weeks, they're giving the Steam Controller an all-new design that kind of looks like this. So they're moving the buttons into more of a diamond shape, and they've gotten rid of the touchscreen. What's up with that? Let's talk about the new button layout first. Personally, I really like it. When I was trying to hit some of these top buttons with my thumbs, it was it was messy and I would scroll and touch screen, it was awful and it was just like really hard to do, so I think if the buttons were all down here, it'd be a lot easier to touch, more convenient. Apparently one of those is going to be a D-pad though, and I don't really know how I feel about that, because I've never actually used a D-pad for directional purposes in a game, so I feel like we'd be better served with just four extra buttons, because, you know, that makes sense, but, you know, we'll see how it works out in the end d-pads can be used as buttons too, so whatever. Now the big one for me is the loss of the touchpad area here, and that doesn't really ring true with me. Apparently they're adding some kind of ghost mode where there's going to be an overlay on the screen and there's different positions on the touchpad that will be different actions, and that really just kind of reminds me of running an emulator on your cell phone and having all those buttons on the screen and you have to put your thumbs over it and just blocks the entire view. And I'm not too happy with that because that always really upsets me. So in defense of having the touchscreen, I'd like to point our attention towards the Wii U gamepad controller. Oh, you can see the camera there. Hi guys! Now there are pretty distinct differences between the Steam controller and the Wii U gamepad. One of which being that the main feature of the Wii U gamepad is the touchscreen and the main feature of the Steam Controller are the touch pads. I think Valve's main worry is that gamers are going to be less immersed in a game if they constantly have to look down at their controller in order to get information from the touch screen there, but I don't think that really is the case here. For example, when I'm using this to play Wind Waker, all I have to do to change around my inventory is look down, doodle around on the screen a little bit, and then I'm done. I never have to pause the game, I never have to break gameplay. I can just do it while I'm sailing around the giant ash ocean. And I feel like that actually immerses me more because you know, you're still in the game, you still hear the music going in your ears, there's never a break. And of course, the whole ghost mode idea doesn't really make sense to me. I don't think it's going to be more immersive, uh, I just think it's going to get in the way of my HUD, actually. So, I don't like it. But, my opinion might change once I actually see it in action. So, you know, I'll just remain kind of cautious about it in the meantime. So overall, when it comes to the controller redesign, you know, I kind of like it. I think the buttons are a step in the right direction, and it looks nice, it still looks clean, but I hate that they dropped the touchpad, and... What are they going to do with the big, ugly spot in the middle now? They should just add a touchscreen. What do you think about the Steam Controller design? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I'd love to hear your opinions. Leave it in a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Here are some links to my other videos if you'd like to check those out, if you haven't seen them already. Please make sure you leave a comment, because I'd love to hear you guys' opinions about the whole redesign thing. And, of course, if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them below. Thanks.